Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. In today's open studio lesson, we're going to look at how you can take your cartoons or your stick figures and make them move by changing the way their limbs work. So first we're going to start with a basic lesson of how to draw a good cartoon or stick figure, and then we're going to put them in motion. Okay, let's get started. First, let's draw a simple beam body stick figure. The front view of a beam body has an oval head and a larger oval body. Long, thin triangles are for the thighs and sticks for shins and check marks for feet. The arms just hang on the sides and fall about mid-thigh. As the side view, the oval head is the same and the oval body is the same, except there's a curve in the oval of the back, making a bean shape. The legs and the arms are the same from the side view as they are in the front view. Now, how to make these beans move? The head and the oval will always be basically the same shape with minor adjustments. The arms and legs will do all the work, but remember they only bend halfway down because there's bones inside those arms and legs. As you activate your cartoons, if you're not sure how you would angle the arms and legs, either look at a mirror or ask someone to model for you. Check out these portraits by Harold Edgerton showing figures in motion within photography. Thanks so much for joining me for today's open studio lesson. We would love to see how your cartoons in motion turned out. If you wouldn't mind posting your work on social media with the hashtag MyMPG, then we can all check it out. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.